Let us now study about the preparation of phenols. Phenols can be prepared by heating aryl halides with caustic soda at high temperatures and pressures. Let us take this argon chloride along with sodium hydroxide at 623 Kelvin around at 300 atmospheric pressure. We would obtain argon hydroxide along with sodium chloride. In the case of haloarenes, let us take an example chlorobenzene. On addition of NaOH or sodium hydroxide at 623 Kelvin and 300 atmospheric pressure, we would obtain phenol and sodium chloride as the byproduct. This reaction is an example of aromatic nucleophilic substitution. The replacement of nuclear halogen is difficult because of the strong CCL bond compared to that in alkyl halides. Since this OH cannot directly replace this chlorine ion at 623 Kelvin and 300 atmospheric pressure, this NONA replaces the Cl. Therefore, it forms as O- and Na+. But this Na can be easily replaceable by this chlorine ion. Therefore, we add HCl. The HCl thus this chlorine ion replaces this Na and OH is formed and we would obtain NaH as a side product. Yet this reaction is used for large scale preparation and is known as Dow's process. Phenol is also manufactured by heating chlorobenzene with a steam in presence of silica as a catalyst. If we take benzene chloride along with sodium hydroxide in the presence of silicon dioxide, we would obtain phenol and hydrochloric acid. Sodium salts of sulfonic acids when fused with sodium hydroxide yield phenoxides. If you see this, aryl sulfonic acid reacts with sodium hydroxide to give sulfonates and water. Sulfonates when reacted with 2 moles of sodium hydroxide and at a temperature of 573 Kelvin results in the product as sodium phenoxide and sodium sulfide. These on treatment with dilute hydrochloric acid gives phenols. Benzene is sulfonated with oleum and benzene sulfonic acid so formed is converted to sodium phenoxide on heating with molten sodium hydroxide. Acidification of sodium salt gives phenol. Let us take this benzene as an example. When it is sulfonated with oleum, it produces benzene sulfonic acid as shown. When it is reacted with sodium hydroxide along with hydrogenation, we would obtain benzene sulfonic acid. And this is nothing but phenol. Boiling weakly acidic aqueous solutions of diazonium chloride phenols are formed. Benzene diazonium chloride reacts with water along with H plus ions to produce phenols and hydrochloric acid along with nitrogen as byproducts. This method is useful for the preparation of phenols which cannot be prepared by other methods. Let us now discuss about the decarboxylation of phenolic acids. This is carried out by heating sodium salt of phenolic acids with soda lime. Let us take sodium salicylate as an example. When it is heated with sodium hydroxide along with calcium oxide, we would obtain phenol along with sodium carbonate. Let us see how phenol is prepared in industrial places. Industrially, phenol is prepared from cumin. Cumin is prepared from benzene and propylene 
in the presence of Lewis acid like anhydrous aluminum chloride. Benzene is made to react with propylene in the presence of AlCl3 which acts as a Lewis acid. We would obtain cumin where CHCH3CH3 is an additional substituent to the hydrogen group here. This is oxidized to hydroperoxide by oxygen of the air. When added oxygen, we would obtain a COOH group here. This is known as cumin hydroperoxide. This is a cleave to phenol and acetone by aqueous hydrochloric acid. The product we previously saw is made to add hydrogen along with water to obtain phenol and we would obtain acetone as a side product.